Hi, and welcome to our series of educational videos that are designed to make you a smarter gambler. My name is Steve Borey, and I'm the author of the American Casino Guide, which is the number one best-selling book in the U.S. on the subject of casino gambling and travel, and the only book that comes with more than $1,000 in casino coupons. If you want to know more about me or my book, be sure to visit my website at AmericanCasinoGuide.com. In this video, we'll be hearing from casino gambling expert Henry Tamburin, and he'll be answering some of the most common questions that players have about blackjack. Henry has written several books on casino gambling, including Blackjack, Take the Money and Run. He also teaches instructional classes on how to be a card counter in blackjack, and he has a website at blackjackinsider.com where he publishes a monthly newsletter all about the game of blackjack. I'm sure you'll learn some great tips from Henry on the basics of blackjack and how to be a better player. Now, here's Henry Tamburin. A lot of players ask me if they can win playing blackjack. The answer is yes, but you have to use the right strategies. The first thing that an average player needs to do is to learn the basic playing strategy. And that will allow you to reduce the house edge to less than 1%. But you're still not a winning player. What you have to do next is take the second step and you have to learn a simple card counting system. So if you use basic strategy and you learn card counting, then you can have the edge on your side and you can be a long-term winning player. A lot of players ask me if the game of blackjack is the same from one casino to another. Years ago, that was the case. If you came to Las Vegas, for example, you'd find the same blackjack games within the casino and also from one casino to the next. Nowadays, that's not true. You'll find some casinos that use two decks of cards, some use six, some use eight. In some casinos, the dealer will stand on soft 17. In others, they'll hit soft 17. Some casinos will restrict the hands that you can double down on. Some offer surrender, some don't. And you even have to watch out for the payoffs for a blackjack. So it's very important that before you play blackjack, you go to the casino and you look at the blackjack table and make sure you understand what are the playing rules and what are the payoffs for a blackjack for this particular table that you want to sit and play. In the game of blackjack, the rules will affect the house edge against the player. And there are good rules and there are not so good rules. The good rules for players, the ones you need to look for, are, for example, the dealer standing on soft 17 rather than hitting soft 17. It's much better for a player if the dealer stands on soft 17. You also want to make sure that you don't have any restrictions, as I said earlier, on doubling down. Ideally, you like to be able to double down after pair splitting. It'd be nice if they offered you surrender option. And most importantly, you want to look at the payoffs for a blackjack. You want to make sure that if you were to get a blackjack, that you get paid at three to two and not six to five or even money. So it's these mix of rules which are going to determine the house edge against the player. Another thing that players ask me are which blackjack games should they avoid? I think the first thing you, you definitely need to avoid are, is any blackjack game that pays six to five for a blackjack. And normally you'll see a six to five blackjack payoff on single deck games. The come on is, of course, the fact that the casino is offering a single deck game, which is usually a better game for a player. But when they throw in the six to five odds, it makes a good game into a very poor game. Another kind of a blackjack game that you should avoid are the ones that use a continuous shuffling machine. You'll know that the automatic shuffler is a continuous shuffling machine when you simply watch what the dealer does with the discards. In a normal game of blackjack, the dealer will take the discards and put them in a discard tray. But with a continuous shuffler, after every round is done, the dealer will take the discards and she will place them back into the continuous shuffling machine. And normally these machines hold from four to five decks of cards. So when you think about it, when you're playing with a continuous shuffling machine, 
the cards are going around and around from the table back into the machine and then they come back out again and it just keeps cycling and when you're playing with a CSM there's never a pause in the action because the dealer doesn't have to do any shuffling doesn't have to change out shoes doesn't have to change out cards so what that does is it, it exposes your bankroll to the house edge 20 percent more per hour and therefore a player's theoretically theoretical hourly loss is going to increase by 20 percent everybody asks me what's the biggest mistake that blackjack players make I think the number one mistake is they either do not use the basic playing strategy but instead use some kind of a faulty playing strategy and by faulty there are all different types and kinds but probably the most common is a lot of players like to follow the strategy of the dealer where they would always hit if, if they have 16 or less and stand on 17 or more just like the dealer does and that's a strategy that's going to doom you to lose so you want to use the right strategy which is the basic playing strategy and the second biggest mistake that players make is they use a progressive betting system believing that that's going to be the uh, the key to unlock the vault so to speak unfortunately progressive betting systems do not work there's never any correlation that says if you lose or win the previous hand that's going to increase or decrease your odds of winning the next hand in blackjack so progressive betting systems don't work it's not going to change the odds a lot of players ask me about card counting and specifically what is it because there's a misconception that uh, if you're a card counter you're going to memorize every card that's played and that's not how card counting works card counting is simply watching the cards on the table so that by seeing these cards you'll have some information as to what the mix of cards are in the unplayed cards sitting in the shoe that are going to come out in the next round and I'll give you a simple example let's take a look at a single deck game you sit at a table and the dealer shuffles the cards cards come out on the first round you're an observant blackjack player so you look at the cards and you see that there are four aces on the layout maybe you have an ace two other players have the second and third ace and maybe the dealer has the fourth ace now the dealer picks up those cards puts them in the discard tray and now she's ready to deal the second round what are your chances of getting a blackjack on the second round well your chances are zero because you are an observant player you saw that all four aces were removed therefore you have the knowledge from what you saw that there are not going to be any blackjacks on the next round so if you're a smart better in that game you're not going to make a very large bet in that second round now card counting is not illegal the last time I looked using your brain when you played blackjack is certainly not an illegal activity and that's all you do when you card count you're using your brain now there's a misconception that a lot of players mistakenly believe that in order to be a card counting they're going to have to study for months and months and be like the MIT guys that a lot of players saw in the movie 21 that's certainly not the case anybody with average intelligence can learn card counting now some card counting systems do take a little bit more time to learn but there are simple ones like speed count which can be learned in less than a half an hour by the average person besides playing blackjack in casinos there's a, there's also another option and that's to play tournament blackjack tournament blackjack is a little bit different than playing uh, blackjack in a table because when you're playing in a tournament you're not only playing against a dealer but you're competing against other players and the way tournaments work is quite simple you have a table of say six or seven players you all start out with the same number of chips you all play the same number of hands usually it's 25 to 30 hands and at the end of say the 30 hands whichever players have the most chips is declared the table winner and they get advanced to play other table winners so in tournament play the key is to end up with more chips than your opponents on the table the question I get asked most often is what is my 
best advice that I can offer someone that wants to learn how to play and win at blackjack. And the best advice I can offer a player is first and foremost, you must learn the basic playing strategy. And even if you have trouble learning it, you can always take a strategy card with you to the casino and refer to it in order to play your hands accurately. The second thing is you want to scout the games. You want to go in the casino and make sure that the game you're playing has fair rules, has a fair payout, a three to two blackjack payout. And the third thing is you want to learn a simple card counting system, something that will allow you to get the edge at blackjack. If you do those three things, then you can be a long-term winner playing the game. If you want to know more about me, I host two websites. One is smartgaming.com, and that's a website where I post a lot of the articles that I've written on all of the casino games. So that includes blackjack and video poker and craps and slots. And the other site that I host is bjinsider.com, and on that site, I post my Blackjack Insider newsletter. And that's a newsletter that is published every month. And it contains mostly articles on Blackjack, although we do cover video poker and other games. If you like a free three-month subscription to the Blackjack Insider newsletter, you simply have to go to this special URL and it's bjinsider.com forward slash free trial. And if you just put your name and your email address, we'll send you out the next three issues for free. Don't forget that you can see more of our educational gambling videos on our YouTube channel. Just go to youtube.com slash American Casino Guide.